In this video, we will be solving this question which says Ralph Ridget likes to eat lunch at 12 noon. However, he also likes to save money so he can buy other consumption goods by attending the early bird specials and the late lunches pr promoted by his local diner. Ralph has $15 a day to spend on lunch and other stuff. Lunch at noon costs $5. If he delays his lunch until T hours after noon, he is able to buy his lunch for a price of $5 five minus T. Similarly, if he eats his lunch T hours before noon, he can buy it for a price of 5 minus t dollars. This is true for a fraction of hours as well as integer number of hours. So with this information we are asked if Ralph eats lunch at noon how much money does he have per day to spend on other stuff. Now first let's see what all information is given to us. We are given that Ralph has $15 a day to spend on lunch and other stuff. So he has a total of $15. Also if he eats at at noon that is 12 pm then the lunch cost him five dollars if he delays his lunch until t hours afternoon that means the time would now be 12 plus t then he is able to buy his lunch for a price of this that would be dollars five minus t and similarly if he eats his lunch t hours before noon then your time becomes 12 minus t he can buy it for a price of this that would be dollars five minus t now if this is the price for lunch let's calculate the money he has for other stuff given that the total amount he can spend in a day on lunch and other stuff is $15. If he eats at noon the lunch would cost him $5 leaving him with $15. 15 minus 5 which is equal to $10 for other stuff. If he enjoys the early bird special that means he eats lunch t hours before the noon then the lunch would cost him 5 minus t leaving him with 15 minus 5 minus t that would be 10 plus t dollars. Similarly if he enjoys the late lunches where he eats at t hours after the noon then the money left for other stuff would be 15 minus 5 minus t which is again your 10 plus t. So with this information the question asks us if he eats at noon that means we are referring to this segment how much money does he have per day to spend on other stuff. So if Ralph is eating at noon then the lunch cost him five dollars leaving him with ten dollars to spend on other stuff. So the answer to this question is ten dollars. Now let's move on to the next part which says how much money per day would he have left for other stuff if he ate at 2 pm. That means he is eating afternoon. So if he is eating at 2 pm then our t becomes 2 because he is eating 2 hours after t. So that implies your t is 2 and if that is the case then his lunch would cost him 5 minus t which is 5 minus 2 which is 3 dollars and the money he has left for other stuff would be 10 plus t as calculated in part a that would be 10 plus 2 as t is 2 in this particular case so that would be 12 dollars. So if Ralph eats at 2 pm then he would have 12 dollars left for other stuff. So the answer to this question is 12 dollars. Let's move on to the next part which says on the graph below use blue ink to draw the broken line that shows the combination of meal time and the money or for other stuff that Ralph can just afford. On this same graph draw some indifference curve that would be consistent with Ralph choosing to eat his lunch at 11 am. So we have this graph where on the x axis we have time that would be your meal time and on the y axis we have money left for other stuff denoted by money. Now the question asks us to draw a broken line that shows the combination of meal time and money for other stuff that Ralph can just afford. Which means the question is asking us to draw the budget line for Ralph. So let's do that. Note that if Ralph is eating at 12 pm then the money left for other stuff is $10 which we calculated in part A. And if Ralph eats at 2 pm 
then the money left for other stuff is twelve dollars so if we join these two points we would be able to get the portion of our budget line which would look like this similarly if ralph eats at 10 a.m then again your t would be two as he is eating two hours before the noon so your t would be two his lunch would cost him five minus t which is five minus two or three dollars and the money left for other stuff would be 10 plus t or 10 plus 2 which is 12 dollars so we get the point as 10 comma 12 which would lie here now if we join these two points we would be able to get the remaining portion of the budget line which would look like this so this kinged line is your budget line as the cost of eating lunch increases the closer he eats to the noon thus the money left for other stuff would be the minimum at this point as lunch costs the maximum at the noon now the question further asks us on the same graph draw some indifference curve that would be consistent with ralph choosing to eat his lunch at 11 a.m now if ralph eats his lunch at 11 a.m which means he is eating his lunch one hour before the noon that means you are at this scenario where your t would be 1 that means the cost of lunch would be 5 minus 1 which is your 4 dollars and the money left for other stuff would be 10 plus 1 which is your 11 dollars so if he eats at 11 am the money left for other stuff would be 11 dollars hence you have a combination as 11 comma 11 which will lie here now note that in the question we are also given that ralph likes to eat his lunch at 12 noon that means his satisfaction level is increasing in this direction that means he would be enjoying his meal the closer he is to the noon also he likes to save money so he can buy other consumption goods that means more with the money the better satisfaction ralph is able to have hence his satisfaction is increasing in this direction thus is the indifference curve passing through the combination of 11 comma 11 having these as the preference directions would be a u-shaped curve tangent to the point 11 comma 11 now what happens after 12 noon again he likes for him more the money the better satisfaction he has so here again your preference direction would be this but note that he still likes to eat his lunch at 12 noon so his preference direction now changes to this so with these preference directions your graph would roughly look like this which would be a u-shaped curve and also this u-shaped curve would be symmetrical along this red line so if i draw the curve fairly it would approximately look like this which is your u-shaped curve tangent at the point to 11 comma 11 as we are drawing the indifference curve for the combination at 11 comma 11 and it's symmetrical along the time 12 or noon thus giving you a solid u-shaped curve